over 50% of the stuff is new and some of the stuff is old crazy stuff you know really good stuff that we thought we can't keep it in the can any longer let's put it out you know Robert Plant is a famous English singer musician songwriter and lyricist who's best known for being the lead singer as well as the lyricist of the rock band called Led Zeppelin the singer enjoyed great success with this band during the late 1960s and 1970s back in the year 2008 Rolling Stone magazine ranked Robert number 15 on their list of the 100 best singers of all time then, in 2011, readers of Rolling Stone named Robert as the greatest of all lead singers. In 2006, he was named the greatest metal vocalist of all time by Hit Parader magazine. Then, in 2009, Planet Rock conducted a poll, and Robert was named the greatest voice in rock. In different stages, I should say altogether, the new stuff took about um, four or five months, you know, but nothing was, con there was no continuous work. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Robert Anthony Plant, but he's also known as greatest metal vocalist of all time, Percy. He was born on August 20th, 1948 in West Bromwich, Staffordshire, England, making him 72 at the time of this production. He stands at 6 feet tall, or 1.854 meters. This famous singer is interested in Welsh history, and has also donated money to help create a bronze statue of a Welsh prince named Owain Glyndwar. The statue was unveiled at Pennell Church near Macleleth in Wales back in 2004. Robert is a member of a Glyndwar network and attends meetings about Owain in Wales. Back in the year 2009, this singer was made a commander of the Order of the British Empire for his services to music. During the same year, he became the third vice president of a football club called Wolverhampton Wanderers. The next year, a documentary called Robert Plant by Myself was aired on BBC Two. In this documentary, Robert discussed his journey with the band Led Zeppelin and various other projects. In 2013, he contributed to a community buyout scheme in order to save the Bath music venue, the Bell Inn. Last year, Robert donated money toward frontline medical supplies during the pandemic. The amount went to the GoFundMe page of a clothing manufacturer in Kidderminster in England. Let me tell you that this clothing manufacturer makes scrubs for local hospitals. Robert has influenced the style of several of his contemporaries, such as Sammy Hagar, and Wilson and Getty Lee. In November 1968, he got married to Maureen Wilson, and together they have three children. Their first daughter was born in 1968, and she was named Carmen Jane. Let me tell you that Carmen later married Robert's bass player for solo tours, Charlie Jones. In 1972, Robert and Wilson welcomed their son, who was named Carrick Pendragon. And in 1978, their daughter named Logan Romero was born. In 1977, Carrick died due to a stomach illness. Robert and John Paul Jones wrote the song titled All My Life in Tribute to Carrick. Maureen and Robert divorced in 1983. True statement of a, of a group's work. You know, you have time in an album to, to show or to indicate exactly what you've been up to over a period of time creatively, you know. Robert was born to Robert C. Plant and Annie Celia Plant. His father was a qualified civil engineer and he worked in the Royal Air Force in World War II. Robert grew up in Halesowen and became interested in singing at an early age. In an interview, this singer said that he wanted to be like Elvis Presley during his childhood. Robert said that he would hide behind the curtains at his house at Christmas and try to be Elvis. Robert attended King Edward VI Grammar School for boys and left it in his mid-teens. Robert had developed a strong passion for the blues. Initially, he decided to become a chartered accountant but left training after only two weeks. Robert then attended college to gain more GCE passes. He wanted to become a part of the English Midlands blues scene. His blues influences were Sleepy John Esther, Jerry Miller, Skip James, and Booka White. While Robert was pursuing his music career, he worked several jobs. 
1967, Robert worked for a major British construction company called Wimpy. Moreover, Robert sang with several bands, including the Crawling King Snakes. He eventually met John Bonham. Back in 1968, Robert met Jimmy Page when Jimmy was searching for a lead singer for his band. Robert sang the song titled Somebody to Love by Jefferson Airplane in front of Jimmy. His performance impressed guitarist Jimmy Page. Both of them developed a strong relationship, and these musicians started writing collaborations with reworkings of earlier blues songs. Initially, they called their band The New Yardbirds. However, the band was later renamed Led Zeppelin. Their eponymous new album was released in 1969. Titled Led Zeppelin, this album reached number 6 in the UK and number 10 in the US. In 1973, the band released the album titled Houses of the Holy, and in 1975, their album Physical Graffiti was released. During the same year, Robert and his wife were injured in a car accident. This incident impacted the production of the seventh album of the band, it's worth mentioning that the band sold around 200 to 300 million records globally, and in 1980 it disbanded after Bonham's death. Since then, Jimmy Page, Jones, and Robert have occasionally performed together. In 1982, Robert released his debut solo album titled Pictures at 11, which is platinum certified. He went on to produce five more solo albums and later formed a band called Strange Sensation. In 2002, Robert recorded Dreamland with this band, and in 2005, he recorded Mighty Rearranger with the band. Then in 2010, Robert, along with the Band of Joy, released the album called Band of Joy. In his career, Robert has released 11 solo studio albums. In 2012, he formed a band called Sensational Space Shifters, which debuted at the WOMAD Festival in Wiltshire. During the same year, this band released a download live album titled Sensational Space Shifters. In 2017, he released the album titled Carry Fire. Then in 2019, this singer formed a band called Saving Grace, which announced a U.S. tour in 2020. The album, it might as well stay on the album, you know, but in the past, through Atlantic Records, they've worried us into saying, oh, let's have a single, let's have a single, you know, there's the top 40 stations over there. Back in the year 1982, Robert earned more than $1.5 million from the album titled Pictures at 11. The next year, this singer earned $1.3 million from the album titled The Principle of Moments from the UK and the US alone. Then in 1984, he released his collaboration album titled The Honey Drippers Volume 1. This album helped him earn $1.2 million from the US alone. The next year, Robert earned $560,000 from his album called Shaken and Stirred. And in 1988, Plant made $3.4 million from the album titled Now and Zen. Two years later, his earning from the album titled Manic Nirvana was $720,000. In 1993, this successful singer earned $700,000 from the album titled Fate of Nations. The next year, Robert was able to earn more than $1.5 million from his collaboration album titled No Quarter. In 2007, his collaboration album titled Raising Sand helped Robert earn $1.62 million. The total net worth of Robert Plant is $200 million. Previously, Robert lived in a house in Penalt in the UK. The property is called the Argode. He also has a farm near the black country town of West Bromwich. Currently, Robert lives in his house in Shatterford near Boodley in Wire Forest District, Worcester. Robert Plant owns the following cars. A 1948 GMC 3100 pickup. A 1959 Chrysler Imperial Crown. A 1965 Aston Martin DB5. A 
a Jaguar XJ. A 1972 Buick Riviera Boat Tail. A 1985 Mercedes-AMG W126. 